Hey guys, it's Kelly. Hey, I got a process video for designs by Rin. I did a quick tag for her using her beautiful stamps and I called it beautiful. Look how happy that is. I love that yellow. It's just so bright, it makes me smile. So all we missed here in this process was the watercolor paper tag and I just sprayed it with Dilutions, ink sprays, and I used Lemon Zest. It is the most vibrant, fun yellow I've worked with. I love it. And I needed that because I was trying some different techniques last night and they just weren't working out to where I liked them. So I thought, you know what, I'll just go with um, my favorite stamps, my go-to stamps, because they're always beautiful. So we'll go with that. And I'm glad I did. Because I'm happy with what came out. So what I'm stamping the Leafy Branch stamp with is the uh, Mode Lawn Distress Ink. It's a brand new one I've tried and I'm really happy with that green. The other greens that I had were a little bit too muted and I really like Mowed Lawn. It's more like nice green vibrant leaves. So stamped that on and dried it and then I used my Honeycomb Stencil by Tim Holtz and uh, taped it down. It kind of moved around a little bit but it's no big deal. I just used tea dye Distress Ink and just added a little bit of hint of the Honeycomb in there, here and there. I've got the line on the edge of my tag, but it's no big deal because I always outline it with black ink anyway. So, and apparently I was obsessed with lining it up like perfectly on my tag. <laughs> really wasn't necessary. So, and I wound up with a little line in the middle, but we'll work it out. That's where my focal point was going to be anyway, so. Here's where I added it. I don't know what I was thinking. There's that line, but it's covered up in the end, so it's no big deal. So that is the Cellini Moth stamp that I just stamped with VersaFine ink on the watercolor paper that is part of a disappointment last night. The colors weren't as vibrant as I had wanted them to be, but it wasn't a total loss. So as I was looking at it, I thought, ooh, that would be really nice if I stamped Cellini on it. And that's where I went. So, and this is the first time I've, I finally bought some VersaFine ink. I really like it. Um, it takes a long time to dry, but it really, that ink, is really doing her deep etched rubber stamps um, justice because it catches all those details so I'm real pleased with that I've just I don't know why I just never bought it I mean it's a more expensive ink that's for sure but it was worth it so I fussy cut Cellini out and then I used my glossy varnish my glossy medium and varnish to kind of make those colors on the um, Cellini moth it kind of pop a little bit. It has a tendency to do that. It kind of adds some nice gloss and some nice texture. And uh, I was real happy with that. And I know it went on a little bit thick. A little bit thicker than I would like, but once it dries, it adds some really cool texture and I really like it. And none of the pictures or video really do it justice. You gotta hold this one in your hot little hands to really appreciate the the shimmer and all that good stuff. So. So then as that was drying, I got my archival ink pad out, which is starting to dry out a little bit. <laughs> Took forever to get it stamped on there. And um, again, I like the VersaFine, but I was getting impatient and short on time, so it takes a really long time for that to dry. So I used my regular Ranger archival ink and stamped down those beautiful raindrops. Love those. And I just wanted them in the upper right hand corner and the bottom left hand corner. Didn't want it all over because I didn't want to take away from the other stamp images that I added to the tag. And then I used Archival Ink just to outline the edges, um, just to draw your eye into the center. And then I wound up, um, it's almost completely dry. When I fussy cut it out, I left the antennae out because I like using the antennae in the shadow image on the on the tag as the antennae, and I just put some stickles on it to make it pop a little bit. I just think it looks better that way. Plus, it's hard to cut it out, but if you if you fussy cut it out from some good heavy paper, um, you can do it and it stays on nicely. So. And what I used to glue that down with was the Aliens Turbo Tacky Glue. It dries super fast and it's great glue. It's one of my favorites. And I spared you guys all the white reflection marks. You can see them there now. It's just a tedious thing. You just 
add the reflection marks where they already are. And then I'm using Stardust Stickles because my, my moth needed just a little bit more highlighting. The raindrops are great and they tend to really hog the tag. And obviously Cellini stamp is my focal point. So I just needed to add a little bit of highlights here and there to her. I'm calling it a her, I don't know why. <laughs> so once I added the stickles, um, I also took my white jelly roll pen and uh, just added really, really subtle, really tiny little squiggle marks here and there as reflections on the moth. And I think that that made the whole tag just kind of flow and almost breathe together. It was lacking that and once I added that it just seemed like oh all of these elements on this tag are supposed to be there they're meant to be there otherwise it just looked like I just put a bunch of things together and tried to make them work but with that it's just a subtle thing but I think it made a big difference so my sentiment it's kind of funny how this works so the clear stamp set is just a bunch of words I think it's the paper studio and um, because I things weren't working out for me and some techniques I was trying last night I didn't get all terribly frustrated but I just decided to go with what always works so when I was looking at my words the words always beautiful <laughs> stood out because these are some of my favorite go-to stamps and no matter what you do they always turn out beautiful so I thought you know what I can I'll produce something really pretty with this so but I wound up mixing the always, and, and the reason why is because the stamp, the uh, the font's a little big, and uh, beautiful worked out fine. So I backed it with black cardstock and glued it on, and called it done. So, and I'm really happy. I love how yellow and how vibrant it is. I hope you guys do too. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you got inspired. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and check out all the links below for all the beautiful stamps. Thanks so much, guys.